I'm going to just be straight up with y'all, man. It's like trying to give some type of knowledge, some type of spiritual freedom and opening to our culture, to the next black man, black woman. It's like of no use. It's like y'all won't open your mind enough, open your hearts enough to receive anything. And like I said, I'm nothing but an individual. I'm a nobody. You feel me? And I'm not trying to be like anybody. But see, it's, it's what you label yourself as and the submission that you put yourself under to give other things and other labels and other titles power over you. And then you become this thing that now everything around you has to be in a category. Everything around you has to be, has to be separate from who you are and put into a different category. Like I said, y'all created us to be all things. He is what I am. I am that I am. And if you so believe that and you claim that you woke and you claim that your eye is open, then maybe you should see that part. Maybe you should see that part. Stop trying to separate this, that, and the other away from who you are. Yes, there is evil in this world. Yes, there are spiritual demons. But at the same time, you have power and rule over those things. And the reason I'm telling you all this is because of the fact that when you start talking about the word supremacy behind any other title, which may be white supremacy, black supremacy, but if you don't hear about black supremacy, you only say white supremacy. And then you go on to have all these other titles for this for this opposition that you believe exists. You believe that this opposition exists to you, but you don't realize that you're the one giving it the power. Once you follow it up with a title and a label to be somewhat authoritative over your being, then it's you who are submitting yourself underneath the title and the label of which that thing is to you, which is superior to you. So all this, I know who my master is, I know this, that, and this, and I know who I submit to and all three, this, that, and the other. What I'm trying to explain to you is no, you don't. You don't. You claim you do, but you won't wake up enough and you won't see the truth in it all because you're still claiming that something else is superior over your being. You won't even give the creator who created your being the superiority over it because you put a man made label and a man made title in front of it. So this is what I'm saying. I live in this world. Yes, I'm nothing but human. I have all these things that happen with me. I have all these things that, 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 that go on in my life. Nobody is perfect. Nobody is going to experience a perfect life. Nobody is going to get all good every day. But if you can come to the, to the, to the conclusion and to the facts that you still have to live it. You have to live it. And then you understand that even before you were here, even before you were even a, 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 a sperm in the, in the egg, y'all knew you. He already knew what your whole life plan was. He already had it planned for you. Or uh, it already had it planned for you. Let's not say he. I, I don't like saying he behind that. Because you can't put y'all into a category. And I don't like doing that myself. Because that's how I was always taught. This is what I'm saying. It's a mental thing. When they take over your mind. And they start using your mind against you. Then it becomes a norm to you. That you submit yourself under that mindset. That you start letting these things be a norm. And it comes off of your tongue. What's the most powerful weapon? Your tongue. Double edged sword. Gives life or death. So understand that when you're speaking these things upon yourself. The same things are being spoken into other folk. And you have to be careful how you speak. Especially if you're dealing with minors and children and everything else. Because now you're teaching them the wrong way. So 
I hate to say it, but yes, over over 99.9% .9 of our history was told to us wrong. It was lied to us. And to go back and find out the facts and find the truths and to actually have a spiritual understanding about it, it brings you up out of this worldly claim of knowledge. I don't claim to have all the knowledge that, that, that I guess you figure that I would have or some people say that I'm just trying to be like this person and that person who claim they got knowledge. If you follow behind another man, first and foremost, whoever you were, Miss Lady, who said I was trying to be like Professor X, if Professor X is your God and Professor X is your source of knowledge, then you go, you, you learn from Professor X. I listen to Professor X and there's things that I agree with and things that I don't agree with. But that's only because of the discernment of my spirit. You understand that? So if you're one of those individuals who go around and let other men speak to you and talk to you and tell you what it is and what it ain't, and you believe in that man and what that man is trying to present to you as this new religion or this new way in thinking and everything else, I'm not trying to tell you to renew or try to new anything. I said renew your spiritual state. Get to know yourself. Get to know who you are by what your creator created you to be. Quit listening to everybody else. Quit taking everybody's word for it and seek ye yourself. If you stay out of everybody else's mess and you stop submitting yourself to everybody else's labels and titles and you start seeking what your substance and your being and your purpose here on this earth for this time being because we are constant beings. We are infinite beings. But this flesh is limited. So find out what that spiritual being within this flesh is meant to do while you're here for this time. That's all I'm trying to get you people to realize my people, my, my, my tribes, my, my, my spiritual brothers and sisters. That's what I'm trying to get y'all to see. If you keep living under submission to man-made idols, a picture, a name, an image, a belief, a practice, anything like that, you're not, you're not really going to make it too far. Because every talking point that everybody argues about and everybody has is always about what they read that another man had written. Or you want to, most, most people want to try to denounce the Bible and say that it's not true because who wrote this book, who wrote that book. But yet still you'll go and you'll pick up another book with history in it knowing that another man wrote that book and they say this is true. That's, that's bogus to me. So regardless of who wrote it, that's my thing. Regardless of who wrote it, what did it bring to you? What did you discern out of what you were reading? What did your spiritual state say? Where did your spirit go with this? Did it say it was right to you? Did it say it was wrong? Did it, did it heed a warning? Or did it heed a green light? Did it show a green light? See, most of y'all not trying to live like that. You're not trying to live like that because you're trying to find comfort and acceptance among someone else. Let me say that again. You're trying to find comfort and acceptance among someone or something else. You can't stand for somebody to call you out by your individual character and actions. But you quit to try to group them and compare them to something else that familiarizes with submission over yourself. That's what I mean by that. Wake up. Live. This is temporary. We got a life beyond this infinite we are only probably point zero 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 five in understanding and knowledge of what the rest of eternity has in store for us. But until we actually start living by that spiritual state and accessing that point zero 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 five percent 
of that spiritual state that we have within us and start living through that and we're going to be totally clueless when we actually get there we're going to be totally clueless I don't know what else to say, man. I guess I'm done with this video.